broke my deodorant, so my day's off to a great start. It's my least favorite part of the day again. <laughs> I always get some kind of Wolverine thing going on with my hair. I'm Guys, my wife just pointed out to me that it's Friday the 13th. That's why my deodorant broke! I believed in the words of the prophets had been frustrated, for the sign which had been given was already at hand. Okay, Kenna had a dream last night that she's going to share with us. Uh, so I had a dream that there was a spider that was like this big. The only way you could kill it was by like touching it on its back with your hand, which <laughs> I did not want to do and I was so scared, so... Yeah, that was a pretty scary dream. And it's going to work. Wave goodbye. She's at a nanny for a couple of cute kids. All right, here's the rundown for today, guys. I'm just gonna, I, I, have, I, have, to, I have to work. I work for a, uh, a website called mormonhub.com, uh, which is part of a, a nonprofit that I work for. And uh, I'm gonna work from home today. That's sometimes a great thing to do, a fun thing for me to do. Here are some of my stories that I've written for work and the type of stories that I'm gonna be trying to write today. So I'm gonna be doing that for the next uh, several hours. Uh, I'll be on YouTube also, uh, answering some of your, your questions and probably responding to people that hate us for some reason. Later today, after work, my sister's gonna come over and hang out with us. Maybe we'll, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a mystery. This is what I get reading comments, guys. I do not care for your opinion. Got another one here. Perjurer, fool, or lunatic. He's not sure which one to call me, so I think he's going with all three. This guy even, he made a pun on my last name. David smells instead of Snell. I haven't heard that one for, for years. What a load of gobbledygook. Why should anyone be loving or accepting of a disrespectful liar? It's incredible that people, people often comment and they ask you questions, but they're not asking questions, they're challenging you. Uh, and they already have the answers they're looking for, which are gonna be different than the answers that I give them. So I don't answer them. Not because I can't, not because I'm dodging them, but because it's just causing contention and Contention is not of God, and so I try not to. Um, but when you do that, you know, when you when you try and and take, you know, the Christ-like path, um, they look at it as weakness or naive naivete. Not that I'm saying I'm better than this guy. I'm. Uh, we're all, you know, the same. We're all imperfect. We're all trying to be better. But we get a lot of nice comments on Three Mormons too, so thank you for those. There are people out there that are very nice um, and that even don't agree with our opinions. When I work, I like to I, I like to listen to Spotify, uh, get a little James Taylor on, a little journey, but look at this. Where is it? Explicit, explicit, explicit. Oh my gosh. How is it that in the top 50 songs in the United States, there's one, two, three. Out of the top 50 songs in the country right now, only 14 are not considered explicit. What's happening to the world? Holy cow. All right, we're finally done with work for the day. So uh, we're gonna have some fun now. This is my sister. She doesn't wanna be on camera because she forgot to put her face on. on. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll try and not show her as much for her. Uh, <laughs> Unless you, oh, you're not covering your face anymore. We're gonna go uh, take a ride. We just, we purchased our first vehicle together. So we're gonna take it for a spin and go to uh, a little store and maybe to a park. All right, that was fun. We're, we're done now. And after almost dying a few times in these trees, it's time for dinner. 
We're big fans of breakfast for dinner. Always. You put it on your cat and your eggs? I put ketchup on my eggs and sausage and hash browns, but I also oh. put syrup on them. <laughs> Um, okay, my sister is going to teach us a new card game, and it is called Poo Head. Poo Head. We uh, we like um, flavored sodas, like from Swig and So Delicious. So we bought our own uh, few Tarani syrup flavorings. This is like an ad. I won! I won Catan! And everyone is very happy about it. Okay, so we've got our drinks. Oh, Brooke's not got her face on still. And uh, we've got these fireworks, so we thought, why not just light them off? So we're gonna go do that. It's going. Okay, happy Friday the 13th, y'all. <laughs> All right, the last two. Okay, and to top off the night, no better way to do it than with a little familial Fortnite. Okay, well, I was hoping to find a golf cart, and so now I'm super far from the, the zone. Okay, how you doing, Kenna? Just running for the life. Yeah. yeah, that's generally what we do in Fortnite. I got this guy. I'm gonna hit on him, but I'm about to die. I got skin. I'm dead. I'm down. Oh, there's another bad guy. Yep, and that's how you die. Well, the only person left alive in our squad is Cannibal King. That's my brother. He's playing from our hometown in Oregon. He's better than all of us. Get him, get him! Oh. Just got five kills on Fortnite, so not a big deal. Canada did pretty good too. Sister's leaving now. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Hi guys. Well, the day is done. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's, I'm used to like having there be a moral to the story, but I guess it's just, it's a vlog and you're just following us around for the day. So that's, that's kind of a form of stalking. That's creepy guys. Just kidding. You can watch. That's fine. And now we're happy to go to bed. So good night, good night world. Good night, Neverland. That's from that's from Hook too. Why am I quoting Hook today? Peace out.